In this video, I'm gonna showcase to you exactly how I achieve these fancy animated subtitle captions that you see appearing on the screen right now. Using the clip you just saw as an example, this is what the final timeline looks like. My top layer is a video file of the animated captions that I made in a separate program called Descript. And this is what that looks like at the end. If this looks a little overwhelming, don't worry, I'll explain all of this. And for those of you that probably are wondering if you can do this in portrait, you can. I just go up here, click that portrait, and a lot of these kind of subtitles are used for social media. But since I'm doing this on YouTube, for a YouTube video, right now I'm dealing in landscape. Just know that it's easy to switch between the two. A quick side note before I begin, for those of you that are looking for a plugin to achieve a similar type of result, there is one for Premiere Pro called the Submachine, and this is completely within Premiere Pro. It uses Mogerts and the text-to-speech uh, transcriptions that's already in Premiere Pro. I find that this is a little bit more of a learning curve, but this is an option. I'll have a link to it in the description below. I'm not gonna be covering Submachine in this video. I just wanted to tell that to those of you that want to stay inside Premiere Pro. Personally, I really like Descript for accomplishing these kind of subtitles, and that's the workflow that I actually use. So I'm gonna teach you that in this video. The first step that I do with my workflow is export just the audio from Premiere Pro, and specifically anything with VO and dialogue. Dialogue. You could essentially export the entire video, including the visual, and then export from Descript. I don't like doing this because every single time you export the visual, it's gonna degrade the quality of your video. But for those of you that need to have the visual inside Descript to frame where your captions go, I completely understand that. I just like to save time by not exporting my visual because I don't really need it. I just need the audio from that VO and dialogue inside Descript for the transcription. So I'm just gonna solo my dialogue and voiceover tracks, go up to file, export, media. You could also just go to the export tab. For the format, all the way down to waveform audio. You could do MP3 if you wanted to and just rename these and save it where you want to and hit export. Now over in Descript, I'm going to start a new project, video project, add file, find where you saved that file. Right here I have hit that like button, underscore audio, and hit open. I want to insert this into my script, transcribe, and transcription doesn't take too long. It obviously depends on how long your audio file is. Once this is transcribed, this looks very similar to how it would inside Premiere Pro. If you are looking for a timeline, it's down here on the bottom left. And for right now, we just have a blank video, if you wanna see what that looks like to you exactly how I achieve these fancy. But to get our captions on screen, we're gonna go up here to actions. It's right above your sequence title. All I need to do is type in the word captions and we'll have insert captions. So I will click this and automatically it has inserted a caption track. For those of you that are just starting, this probably looks like classic where each word just pops up as normal. If you want to adjust how many words are there, you can do that easily by just clicking and dragging. It's pretty self-explanatory and user-friendly. In order to change how these look, all we have to do is go over here to our style and switch this from classic to karaoke or clean. Now, in order to see these differences, I might actually change my background color. So right now it's black, but I'm going to click this little button right here and what you saw in the beginning was red. So I'm going to change my background to red. And the reason why I'm choosing red is because it doesn't look anything like any of the other animations. We are eventually going to be green screening out this red. So if you do have any kind of red in your branding for these, don't choose red, choose a different background color that you won't see. Going back down to my captions, we can change the font, how thick or thin it is all of your normal font parameters. But instead of classic, what I might do is go to karaoke. And this is what you saw with the words highlighting as I say them on screen. I have a little background right here that is also applied underneath the style. So I'll click this karaoke again. And what you're viewing is this background right here. So I can turn that off or on. I can turn the active word off or on. I can change the opacity for what the future words are right here. And it gives you that much customization. So I'll just hit play. 
exactly how I achieve these fancy animated subtitle captions that you see appearing on the And that's basically what you saw when I started the video. If you did notice, there was a bunch of different types of animations happening. And this is where I think Descript really shines with plug and play animation presets. Let's say I wanna start out with this kind of style, but I wanna switch it when it gets to my next phrase. So right here, I'm gonna right click and you can add scene at playhead. I'm gonna click that and we've started a new scene. With this new scene, we can change the animation style. So I'll go up here to these four squares, which is templates. Click that. In gallery, they have a whole captions template. So I'm gonna click this and here are captions. They're all in portrait, but like I was showing you in the beginning of the video, it makes it really easy to apply these to landscape. Now let's say I want to do this tilted, skewed karaoke style. So I'll click that and it automatically applies that to my video. You could match orientation here to what the template was, but again, I'm doing this in landscape. Most of you would probably be doing this in portrait and it would automatically switch that if you did match orientation. But for right now, I'm gonna keep this in landscape. Notice that the background color changed and I'm going to address this in a second, but I just wanna show you how easy it is to create a couple more different animations. So here I'm gonna create a, another scene like so, go back up to my templates and this one where it changes green as it goes to the next word. So we can go something like that. I'm going to center this one. I'm actually gonna center this one too. Let's add another scene. I'm just hitting that question mark key just so we can see the difference, one word at a time, typewriter. Since you get the idea, I'm gonna fast forward through this part and this is what I ended up with. In this video, I'm gonna showcase to you exactly how I achieve these fancy animated, exactly how I achieve these, and then fancy animated gets switched halfway through. So I need to move this, which is easy enough. I'll just click and drag to where I need that to switch. Achieve these fancy animated subtitle captions that you see appearing on the screen right now. Now we need to make the background the same throughout. And in order to do this, I'm gonna go over to this little spot at the end. I'll create a shape right here with the rectangle, bring that over like such. And I need to expand my timeline like this. I need to make it taller so I can see that rectangle shape. And now I'm going to click and drag this all the way to the beginning and I need to send this to the back. So I'm gonna right click, layer order, send to back. Now that is behind our captions, but we don't want white, we want that red color. So now I'm going to go to fill and change that fill to red. And it has changed that fill to red for the entire thing. If you did all of this and you needed to do it to portrait, here's portrait and everything kind of looks off and that's okay. What we need to do is click this and move the red background like so. And once I've moved it, it's only done it for this one scene and it hasn't done it for the rest of these scenes. And when I say scene, it's these numbers right here, the three, four, five, six, that's the numbered scene. Now, if I want to apply what I just did to this red to the entire timeline of all the scenes, I just need to go up to the three little dots right here and apply properties to all scenes. Now it makes the red fill the entire screen for every single scene. Now I could go back to landscape, I could do square and it acts how I would want it to and automatically frames itself without me having to redo anything, which is super awesome. One last thing we need to address is under here in advanced, make sure that your frame rate matches whatever the sequence is. So if you have a 23.98 frames per second, edit it as that. If you have a 30 frames per second, edit it as that. To export our file, we're gonna go up here to publish in the top right, click that. With Descript, you are partially using this as an online editor. With publishing, you export and you use their cloud computing to render the files. If you do export, it's going to use your local machine. That's why it says here, get your file 10x faster with the publishing feature. I'll leave it up to you whether you want to use publish or export. For this one, let's go ahead and use publish. I'm gonna change the access to project access required. That way it's not something that anybody could find on the internet or you could share that link with somebody. 
resolution is max and I will hit the download button. Back inside Premiere Pro, here's that animated file. Just gonna drag that into my project bin and I will bring that above my video file. Looks like everything is lining up as it needs to. I'm going to delete the audio track. So I'm gonna hold Option on Mac or Alt on Windows, click that and delete the audio file. Next, we need to remove the red. So I'm going to bring up my effects tab by hitting Shift 7. Look for Ultra Key, drag that onto your animated clip. Go to your effects controls by hitting Shift 5. Go to Ultra Key, grab your eyedropper, click the red, and there is the animation. Now I'm going to drop this down a little bit and here's what it looks like. In this video, I'm gonna to showcase to you exactly how I achieve these fancy animated subtitle captions that you see appearing on the screen right now. Obviously, this isn't perfect because if you needed to change anything, you would have to go back to Descript and update it to however you need to and export it again. But for social media stuff and quick 60 second clips at most, this does a fantastic job for my workflow. I have a link to Descript in the description. And until next time, I hope you're out there living a life of abundance. Bye.